Kyle the Pug. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Kyle the Pug. Wait a minute. That name doesn't sound right. Hold on. Let me try that one more time. <laughs> Welcome to Professor Pug's gaming kennel. Now, you can kind of say this is like the first episode, but not really. This is more like season two, episode one. I guess you guys can pr probably say it's like season two, somewhere around there, due to the name change. But yes, this is now Professor Pug's Gaming Kennel. That is the name of the podcast from this day forward until I decide another name change. We are going to go with it. And yes, I know I'm not in a kennel. Don't worry. And I'm not an actual dog, but I'm actual human talking. But that'd be impressive if I was an actual dog. Like I said, I need to get facer for my uh, podcast. I was actually be pretty dope, honestly. But anyway, so welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I just want to say this uh, right now. It has been really, really hot with this heat wave, all these fires here in California where I'm living at. And it's just, oh my God. It's still going to this, you know, to uh, this day, at least. At least it'll be happening for like another couple of weeks or so. But, oh God, these, it's like these, these fires and the ash in the sky. I mean, it just, it doesn't end. Matt, you, Matt, man, the man, the myth, the legend, also the co-host, you can, you can kind of relate also too. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see out there, man. Oh my God. Like it's Los Angeles. <laughs> God, I, I, I swear. Like I went to go next door just to like get some like chips and some stuff like that for lunch. And oh my God, it was just like, the sky was so gray. It was like, it was so ashy. Like I felt like the ash was crawling all over my skin. It was that bad. It was terrible. Yeah, it my was. My car had, had a lot of ash on it too. I feel like the, like Armageddon happened when I was sleeping. <laughs> it's like uh, I think I think what what day was it? It was uh, Wednesday. I think it was. So I woke up and all of a sudden the sky was just like a brownish, grayish, <laughs> yellowish color. And I posted a pic on Twitter too. And oh my god, it was nuts. It was just like, you know, it was like a zombie apocalypse that happened. It was like Silent Hill that basically happened. It was just, oh man, like <laughs> we were living in a, in a, I mean, we kind of are living in a pandemic still, but, uh, oh man, we, it just felt like one of those situations where it was just like absolutely awful. It's like, it's like we were living on Jupiter that the air quality was that bad. And thank God the air, well, it didn't get much better, but the air quality was like more of a grayish color later on that day. But holy Christ, it was awful. <laughs> it was just like, I couldn't, I kind of like couldn't even breathe for a little bit though, for like an hour because I had to wear my mask outside, like, you know, just to actually not, you know, inhale the actual ash just to, I mean, you know where I'm going with that, but yeah. Yeah. That's. That's basically, I mean, it's still, it doesn't, it's not really getting any better, honestly. I'm just going to say this right now. It's not getting any fucking better whatsoever. It's, it's awful. It's, it's insane. But, um, Matt, how are you doing, man? What's been going on with you? Uh, just, uh, uh the usual thing with the boys, you know, having them whenever I have them, having fun with them. Went to the pool, actually, uh. Last few days. Oh, you went to the oh yeah. in this weather, especially with the yeah. gray smoke. Yeah, Ooh. it's funny because the time we went there, the the smoke started to like subside a little bit, so it was really enjoyable. Oh, Usually by the water okay. too. With the pandemic, water really doesn't really have much effect near a pool area. I mean, unless it's like a overcrowded pool. Yeah, which it really wasn't. So it makes private sense. Pool areas, which is nice. Yeah, so, but, um, so I bet I bet they'll have like social distancing, especially with that rule going around too. Yeah. Other than uh, that, just like putting out some, uh, other than the last couple streams I've done, I've been making clips here and there, making some videos to throw on the YouTube mm -hmm. channel to get some kind of consistency going on there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one game, of course, that you're, we're going to be talking about, I, I put on the video, but uh, other than yeah, that, we'll, it's been... We'll, uh, we'll get to that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get yeah. to that, though, but... Um, Lots of I'll, Fall Guys grinding, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was playing Fall Guys earlier, and uh, yeah, it kicked me out of like three straight games while I was... Uh, well, I, think, I think it had something to do with my internet. I know it was kind of acting up, so I had to just like reset, at least reset my internet before we started here, and I did that like a couple hours ago, so it's like, you know what, I'll just uh, reset my internet, you know, a couple of times, make sure bit rate's running okay. It seems like it's running okay, at least up right now. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing okay, you know, as of, you know, right now, like, 
backlog wise, um, I'll get to my backlog here in a little bit, which, um, I mean, I've been, I've not only been on the Fall, Fall Guys grind, I know I've been like kind of doing that. I've still playing Cuphead on the PlayStation side. Cuphead, it's, going? I have taken, I've taken uh, six or seven uh, boss contracts so far. It is still challenging. <laughs> I, I still rage from time to time, you know. Mm -hmm. I make I make stupid you know stupid mistakes on that game, so it's it's natural, you know. People will eventually make mistakes unless you're like a god given like super talented champion on that game that doesn't like get hit or die, and then you know kudos to you there. But you know, I made my mistakes. You know, I'm trying to at least you know improve on what to do for certain strategies for certain boss fights, and like I said, it's super challenging. The game is not yeah. easy, so if you want, if you try to pick up this game and you wanted to play it for the first time, mm -mm, I am not about that life. But I mean, I I am gonna try to beat it though. But uh, yeah, so I would recommend not picking up. I mean, it's I love the animation for it. It's super cool. Like it's like from a 1930s 40s cartoon. It's kind of like you know Fantasia esque, you know Disney sort of thing. But for, for like I said, it's a very popular mm -hmm. indie game. Very fun and. Yeah, I'm actually glad that this is on PS4 so I can stream it, so that way I can uh, have a little fun, but at the same time, try not to break my controller. <laughs> that's the, that's like the main objective for this. So as long as my, you know, my controller doesn't break, I think we'll be okay, though. But um, as of uh, the other game I'm kind of grinding on, um, The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I've been on a crazy grind with that game. I, um, I, last time, I actually, I need to post an update on Twitter here, like, in the, you know, uh, I haven't, like, posted in a hot minute, though, because I actually took some pictures. I have beaten the Helmorok King, the, uh, the giant bird at Forsaken Fortress, and that's the bird that kidnaps your sister right at the beginning. And, yeah, yeah that was, it was pretty satisfying to, uh, beat that boss, though, too, so, um, met Ganondorf, uh, yeah, I've, Ganondorf, usual self, you know, trying to, oh, I got his power, take it over the world, blah, blah, blah. But um, <laughs> that's that's his usual self, try to gain every single Triforce piece, but that's how it is. But uh, yeah. Tetra is Princess Zelda, confirmed spoilers for those who haven't played the game yet, and I've, I, you guys probably have played the game by now. But, so, yeah, spoiler warning. So, made it to the part where Tetra was revealed as Princess Zelda, heir to the royal family, and that's pretty much it, other than the fact that the, you know, the two temples have been unlocked. I do need to get to those temples, the Earth Temple and the Wind Temple, but right now I can't get to the Earth Temple because I need a certain item to get in. So I think it's like you, you got to lift up the, like, certain piece to get into the, um, into the Earth Temple. It's probably like a power bracelet, and I've had power bracelets before. They're they're very common in Zelda games. I just don't know where this one is at, so I probably have to look up something later on here tonight just to uh, take a look at it. If I get the chance though to play, it. well, maybe I might. I don't know, but unless uh, unless Matt like drags me on Fall Guys again, but <laughs> other than probably. that, <laughs> I'll probably like maybe Monday or Tuesday night, one of the two. Since we are recording right now on a Monday and Tuesday or like Wednesday, actually, I don't know what's been like fourth wall break. I don't know why I've been uploading these on third. I mean, then again, my internet was kind of like you know i was trying to upload it wednesday but then my internet browser kind of crapped out on me so i had to uh postpone the upload until thursday i don't know why it keeps like doing that to me that's like the second straight week i've uploaded on thursday but hopefully i can get this up by wednesday for you guys so you guys can check it out on the youtube side so uh but anyways yeah so if you guys are seeing this live recording like on on you know twitch as of right now i'll probably might play this monday or tuesday depending on the situation and um, I think, yeah, by the, and by the time you're seeing us, you know, uh, Wednesday, maybe Thursday, I don't know. But hopefully, like, Wednesday, I'll probably would have played Wind Waker by now. But, um, uh, yeah, other than that, that's that's pretty much it. As of, you know, for me, like, apart from, you know, I check in on Animal Crossing every so often, like, just check in, you know, with villagers and all that. Other than that, it's that's kind of it for me, so... What's your backlog looking like, Matt? What's going on with you? It's been filled with Fall Guys, Fall Guys, and more Fall Guys, <laughs> it seems like. Apparently so. That's like what's new, what's in right now. So, uh... Yeah. You still... How many ones do you still have? Do you still have five? Um, I think five or six at least. I, yeah, I so... Five or six. I think it might be five. 
I'm not sure. I think it might be five, but I know I, I know I have eight wins at least. I haven't played nearly as much as I'd like to, but you know, my schedule's been kind of wonky of late, so yeah, um, I haven't had a chance to really truly grind out and try to be better than the fallen one. <laughs> be better than you know Doctor Lupo and all those you know. At least you're better. Well, I don't know how many wins Tim the Tatman has now. Does he still? Does he have more one. than one? Does he just he, has one. He just has one. That's it. Oh yeah, he definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel bad. But I guess uh, the new ongoing meme, at least for this channel, we have mm -hmm. um, our our boy Dan the Man plays, and I guess well, it's it's not so much so you know with Penguin. I think Penguin will probably maybe get a win like every so often. But uh, I know he doesn't have a win yet. But we'll get him one. It's not it's not as funny as with Penguin as it is with Dan. You know what I mean? Yes. Like like. He has zero wins, and the way he rages, e well, yeah, he rages every time. It's just like, every time he does bad, he has no faith in himself. Like, I try to cheer him up, give him a little positivity, but, man, every time, like, he plays a certain game, like, it's just like, oh, my well, God, like, well, oh, I'm trash. I'm, I'm trash. Like, I'm just going to rage quit, and he'll, he'll, like, do some, you know, crazy stuff. But, I mean, I'm not trying to, like, downgrade him or anything, but, um. I just feel bad. Like I try to help him get a win. Like if we were like the last two live on like on Hexagon or something, or maybe like you know, fall, well not Fall Mountain, but like Jump Club, I, like Jump Showdown, mm. I will literally I'll be that guy. I will be I will throw on purpose just to have him at least get a crown, <laughs> just to help a brother out. You know, like that's yeah. that'll be me. I'll I'll be that guy. If you if you need one win here, I'll just throw the game just for you. Yeah. I I don't know. I think uh, would it be really would it be satisfying to win legit? I don't by legit I mean by your friend not throwing, mm -hmm. or just by just naturally just beating your friend. For Penguin, well, I just want to I, I want him to earn it. Yeah, I, I mean would... that that is true though. But I mean I would try to be nice just to help out you know other friends. But you know sometimes it, it's better when you earn it though. It is better when you earn it. I'm not saying it's not, but yeah. like I said, it's it's um. It's just one of those situations where, like I said, I sometimes do feel bad. I show empathy and I show a little, you know, mercy. I kind of go on like a little, I wouldn't say a pacifist run, but I would like say I would, you know, I would put my friends ahead of myself, basically, you know? Yeah. I mean, I already have like, you know, eight wins as it is anyways, but I don't know. That's just, that'd be just me. I'd be just, you know, that guy just to like, you know, help each other, help the person get their first W, you know? Oh, well, but that, you know, well, that's... They had, they had an update today, too, as well, so they're... I they guess did they're, have an update, yeah. I guess I they're fixing, a, they're fixing a couple of games, I think. Yeah. Because I, I noticed, um, Seesaw, uh, Team Tail Tag, and, uh, Jump Showdown were actually back into the uh, lineup that I noticed. Oh, people and... are so thrilled to see Jump Showdown back in the Oh, in Jump the Showdown again. Actually, Jump Showdown is actually one of my favorites, and uh, it might be one Hopefully. of my favorites, but my most wins, my most wins have from from uh, Hexagon. Really? That, that, yeah, my most most of my wins have come from Hexagon, and I that's kind of shocking to say, but and I think I've won I've won uh, two Jump Showdowns. Okay, so I think seven. Yeah, so I had seven. Uh, wait, okay, so yeah, two sh sh showdowns, one fall mountain, and yeah, the rest are hexagon. <laughs> the rest are hexagon. Yeah, hexagon is actually can be. Oh wow, I mean, it can be. If you have the right strategy, you can easily be like the best at that particular mode. At first, I hated hexagon. Now I'm kind of like, okay, I have a strategy going in. Just take out this many blocks, and then try your you best. Can, not you can. You can also. And, I'll, and like I said, you can also just like you know jump from certain hexagon to certain hexagon to uh, try to slow down the movement a little bit. But if that fails, like I said, if you fall away the bottom, that fails. You know, just take out the middle, try to screw everybody over. That's the name of the game. Plan A doesn't work. I mean, just go to Plan B. Easy. The funny thing is too is that with um with hexagon is that well one you gotta yeah try to. Plan out and your, remember, uh, you gotta watch out for the shadows above too. If you're below somebody, because they can like true. fall down. That's like an that's an underrated you know statement right there. You gotta watch the enemy, well the opponent's shadows from above, because they could fall down and kind of mess up your rhythm a little bit. Mm-hmm. So if you're not careful, um, if you're trying to troll one person, you can end up trolling yourself in the end. I've done that before many times. <laughs> yeah. So okay, if I'm, I uh, so if I did if my math is correct, so yeah, five hexagon wins at least for me. 
and then uh, one Fall Mountain, that's six, and two Jump Showdowns, which is eight. I'm not going to admit, like, uh, well, I'm going to admit, I shouldn't say I'm not going to admit, I should admit that, like, right lately with Texagon, though, I've been, oof, I've been not that guy, I've been too, too aggressive, like, I'm trying to, like, knock people out early, with instead of focusing on my own self and going, okay, I, how am I going to establish a platform where I can just keep jumping one to one to one? Well, I actually, wait a minute, maybe over. I have a royal, fo I have a, uh, actually, you know what, I think I have nine wins, because I, now I remember, I do have a royal fumble win. So I'm up to nine, uh, eight, like eight or nine. I'm not. Sh I, I'm, I'm kind of trying to think about this in my head. And now that I actually think about it, I did ro win a um, Royal Fumble match before. I'm, I'm trying to think, going back a little bit, saying like, oh, well, maybe I didn't. No, no, but I actually did win one. So I might be up to nine. Maybe I just didn't put that one on Twitter. I don't know. Maybe I. Yeah. My math might be a little bit off, but nah, math's not my strong subject. <laughs> you have eight to nine, and I have yeah five to six. I mean, yeah, we're roughly close. To... We'll figure it out one of these days. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's just you can't. You could. I'm trying to keep track of how many wins I have, but at the same time, it's just you know, it's kind of mind-boggling. I usually upload clips to Twitter though, just to say how many number of wins I have. But that's just you know my you know perspective on it, and like I said, I sometimes lose track easily when it comes to like counting stuff and that's Man, never that's fun hard. like i said dan if you're watching this and i will uh definitely say dan the man plays if you're watching this right now i'll probably clip this and put this on twitter i am going to help you get a follow guys win one way or another and penguin well not so much more penguinator well like i said I, I bet he can do that on his own when he can he's been close though a couple of times but uh i think Who's more than Trolls. who's more who's more likely to win? You know, one game. Like Penguinator, Penguinator. I think Penguinator too. Not no disrespect to Dan though, but I mean, but <laughs> it's just Dan funny. Way, when, I've learned in this game is that if you get way too frustrated in in like if you lose and get like way it, too you, frustrated and you can't concentrate, you've yeah. already lost. You have yeah. already lost, honestly. Yeah, he has like a like I said, his his positivity when he gets frustrated. Oh my God, there is none. <laughs> He's just like, oh my God, yep, I'm lost. I'm taking off. Oh my and God. I mean, even if I did make it, I probably wouldn't have ever gotten the crown anyway. See, that's like the. Uh, I mean, no disrespect. I mean, you know, I know that's how he like. You know, he has bad luck in battle royale games. I mean, I understand that. I sometimes do too. You know, that's not the end of the world. You just move on. But I mean, you gotta. I mean, my my motto has been like you know just keep your expectations low and just not say anything about anything just let it come to you though but uh he takes that to a whole nother level <laughs> <laughs> like just to keep your expectations low but i usually try to uh you know at least have them high like in my heart but then in my head it's just like you know you got to keep it low so my heart has high expectations but my head has low expectations <laughs> but i don't know that's just you know my my thing on that but I yeah, Dan. I I hope you get a win. I hope you honestly do get a win. Seriously, because if you don't get a win, I don't know what to tell you. At least at least one win. That's all that matters. And uh, yeah. With that being said, uh, let's get to some gaming news. What's going on with um, the video game world? And like I said, this is called. I mean, well, sometimes I know little before we get started with the news here, we kind of, we kind of talk about a little bit of sports and maybe like a couple movies every, you know, one or two every so often. We actually have a, a certain movie to talk about here coming up here in a little bit. But, um, so Gotham Knights was revealed, had a world revealed trailer. Uh, I believe it was Saturday. Was it, was it Saturday yeah. that actually, yeah. So Saturday. So Gotham mm -hmm. Knights supposedly is supposed to be the next thing after Batman Arkham Knight, and the description says, Batman is dead, and a new and expansive criminal underworld has swept through the streets of Gotham City and is up to the Batman family, Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin to uh, protect uh, Gotham, basically, bring, to bring its ho hope to uh, its citizens, discipline to its cops, and fear to its criminals. From solving mysteries that connect the darkest chapters in the city's history to uh, defeating notorious villains in epic confrontations, you must evolve into the new Dark Knight and save the streets from descent into chaos. And it is an open-world action RPG set in the most dynamic and interactive Gotham City yet. And either solo play or with play with one of the other heroes, or you might play online on this, we don't know yet. Patrol well, Gotham's yeah. uh, five distinct burrows and drop in on criminal activity whenever you find it. So an RPG-like base game from, I think, 
I'm pretty sure Rocksteady has kind of moved on to... I think Rocksteady was the one that made this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I know there's another one that Rocksteady made. We'll talk about that here in a little bit, but uh, a Batman RPG game. Now, this actually sounds pretty exciting, honestly. And you, you, when you saw this trailer, you, um, uh, you did a reaction video towards it. So, yeah. uh, how did that go? Uh, yeah, I was very, very blown away um, by the mm -hmm. concept. Um, the first thing I looked into was just to see if this was. A direct correlation because a lot of the mis this um, information out there are fake news um, was saying that oh so this must be a continuation of the Arkham series where mm -hmm. you know a spoiler alert um, everyone finds out who Batman is because of mm -hmm. um, what transpired mm -hmm. and or Scarecrow's little tactics and then it's it for him he has to go to and blowing up the mansion and everything but just leave it to nothing this uh, this game itself is actually not related. It's its own particular version of the Batman series. It just happens to, it happens to have almost it's the same just, story it, arc. It does it does take place though after Arkham Knight. It is confirmed that. So, but I don't know if the mm. same company didn't make it though. Uh, no, Rock Rocksteady did a uh, did Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah, but um, okay, okay. So like I said, you Montreal know. Montreal did a uh, did the um. Which one was that called? I think like I said, called... it does it does have the same you know arc, you know, like you know a couple years later, because yeah. it did actually talk about some deaths and passing away, like and uh, they were talking about uh, well, how. Here's uh, the thing, though. With, with here's the thing. This is where I, this is how I'm kind of like okay, this is where the, it gets kind of shady. Whether it actually is for sure from the Arkham series continuing from Arkham Knight, Barbara Gordon somehow miraculously has. I was in her just legs. going to. I was just going to get to that. Yeah, because like she was sudden, Oracle. Jim Gordon dies. Yeah, Jim Gordon. Yeah, I was gonna say like Jim Gordon's death kind of inspired her just to get back into the you know the crime fighting scene. Somehow she miraculously recovers, and we don't know how. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me, like and now all of a sudden you know you could be as one of the characters like in the streets, you know, in Gotham, kicking some ass. And I actually saw some of the uh, her gameplay with you know through the trailer. It actually looks pretty. Like all the characters actually look pretty cool. Like the I mean, Red style. Red Hood. Red Hood is this, you know, typical Red Hood where he's just shooting people up all the time. But I think yeah. the one that's really interesting is Robin. Robin's Ooh. is very, very much more. Yeah, um, especially Robin's. And I and put, I put Night, I put Nightwing probably get a close second to Robin, honestly. Yeah. When true. it comes to characters, like hundred percent. I mean, when you play as you know Nightwing, like I said from uh, in Batman Arkham Knight, he actually had you know the stun sticks, where those were actually really really cool to use, mm -hmm. at least to me though. But yeah, Robin is more of like a stealth person, so and I like you know stealth stuff in Batman games, so that's kind of like my uh, my favorite part of stealth, and I prefer that over Metal, Metal Gear Solid. And that's you know I'm not trying to sound biased or anything, but it's kind of like a shocking pick to those who are watching this. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, so Art of Stealth. Tim kind of possesses, and it says that he possesses a background and combines psychological warfare and behavioral, behavioral, excuse me, I, I can't even speak today, sciences of all which sets, sets the stage for him to accomplish any mission. So, I mean, he has the ability to, like, at short range, and this is actually a part of something, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but it's a part, I actually also have the, they released not like a, an, a few minutes after they released the actual trailer, they released gameplay too, and actually, no, that's the other video I'm going to putting out there um tonight i haven't really um, seen the gameplay though but i'll definitely take a look at it though you know later on tonight like or when i get the chance to so and of course if you guys don't know about nightwing he's more of the uh char char charisma charismatic yeah i really can't speak tonight you know charismatic person <laughs> of the batman family oh, i cannot speak so yeah so uh dick also believes that for the fight that it has to be worth it and there must be there must be something real to fight for and that there is something that there's always been you know with other people and he was batman's first protege before becoming a hero in his own right so there is lore behind that and he's a master of acrobatics and is an expert at taking down enemies with his signature Dual Eskrima sticks, so yeah, those little Ponfa sticks, that's what they're called, what they're called, basically stun sticks, which is, like I said, I loved using those, those are like, probably like my favorite, uh, one of my favorite, uh, what, things to use in that, There's along with, something uh, satisfying about shocking an enemy. Mm-hmm, just like, just stunning them, just like 100%, exactly, yeah. so, uh, 
No, this is my question here. So, do you think this uh, trailer surpassed uh, the Marvel Avengers beta? Now, let's think about that for a second. Do you think, in your own opinion, now you can say, you know, Avengers, you know, that could be, if they're two completely, you know, different separate universes, do you think, like, you know, which had more hype, basically? This is what I'm trying to ask here. You think uh, Gotham Knights hype, you know, World Reveal trailer, you know, had more hype, or do you think the Avengers beta had more hype? So I want to, I want to hear your thoughts on that. Um, I, I think it's because they were initially trying to ride the hype of the Avengers Endgame um, movie itself, but of course, COVID kind of ruined that that momentum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the hype for the Avengers, the Avengers game, could have been a little bit higher. Um. But they they were absolutely over marketing it on their Twitter feed. That that's when you know that you're desperate when you're constantly putting tweets. And I had notifications on mm -hmm. for all of it, <laughs> and they were posting almost just every getting spammed hour with Twitter notifications. Yes, and not once did I get one for Gotham Knights until the re the release of it. I feel like the Gotham Knights is going to get is definitely has more hype. And if you look at certain, uh, I I agree, hundred percent. Considering the fact you see the success of uh, Arkham Arkham Knight, and the yeah, Arkham, Arkham Knight, yeah, the Arkham series itself, Asylum City and Knight, everybody was looking forward to it. And Origins, Origins gets a bad rap. I think Origins was a extremely Origins. Good I haven't played Origins, but I've seen gameplay. But it looks underrated. I actually do like the DLC. I even looked at it. It was actually really, really good with Mister Freeze. Yeah, yeah, it, it's. Even, yeah, I, I, I sound biased because I'm, my favorite superhero, obviously, is Batman. Hence the name. No, I mean that. Words. I mean oh. that's as I mean that may have uh, may have nothing to do with your name, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and then it's just just looking at the the hype on it, it's especially considering you're not just playing as one; you're playing as four. So essentially, mm -hmm. it's like continuing the Arkham series with uh, with the DLC characters. So and this this is my this is I was thinking about this. Now you you could either play by yourself though, but can you play online though with a four player co op? That would be interesting to actually look at. If four player co op online is confirmed, then I would definitely be investing on trying to get this like for sure playing this online. Yeah, I think they they said at least for um, at least for the two player portion missions. Like this is something that they showed. They actually showed that off in the. The gameplay reveal trailer. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically just like a mission. It's the Batgirl's mission. So it's kind of you've. It, they've kind of pick up Porsche. They've kind of sort of started off her story arc, um, and so it's kind of her. You get to kind of see the gameplay of her and uh, and and uh, Robin. The mm -hmm. two of them. They basically show them off, um, and they show off one of the. And they have like a relationship together. They do have a relationship together. You know, in a way. Now, is it a love relationship? I mean, that you could it's kind of debatable, but as at least like a friends like relationship, they actually do care for one another. Yeah, that's the thing too, is that if, if this is a direct correlation to the Arkham series, which I I think it here, I, I think it like I'm leaning towards like eighty percent that it's like kind of a correlation to the uh, Arkham series. It doesn't show like for, I don't think it'll maybe be by the same company, which I could be wrong, you know, it could be them, it could be not them, I don't know. But I've I think heard, I heard varying reports on that one that it may not be the well. This is a, this is where it kind of gets conflicting for me because there have been some people have been saying that this thing was um, was our origins of course was released in thirteen, so then two years after it, um, the hit Arkham City, and then it was mm -hmm. also this was also meant to be a placeholder between City and and Rock City's Arkham Knight, but then it just I don't know what happened between then. So I'm thinking that they. That's probably good that they didn't rush it, because it mm -hmm. would have been completely out, just out of nowhere. Where you're like, what the hell's going on with the storyline? It's, it's all over the place. Yeah, especially if like, they're saying that. Especially oh, the origin died. story. Yeah, it's yeah. like the like that they're gonna mess around with the origin story of all this. It's just like, oh, what are they doing with the story exactly? Like, what? <laughs> I, yeah, I have no idea what. what it's, it's it's hard. I've I've been trying to figure out. I think one of the devs did say this is not a direct correlation with Arkham, but I doubt that. I think that might have been a fake news post. Oh yeah, um, I mean, like I said, I think, and I said before, I feel, I feel like more of the the way, like I feel like it's gonna be towards like you know Arkham story. It's gonna set like, if, I wouldn't, I don't know how many years after you know the Arkham Knight story, maybe, maybe, you know, two, three, four, I don't know, you know, somewhere around there, but 
like I said, I mean, it's it's too early to call at this point. It's a it's a world trailer. I know everybody's talking about it on the internet. Where everybody's you know coming up with theories and Easter eggs and possible like you know Easter egg solving stuff. At least for the game though, data mining, you know, all that jazz. And uh, we don't know nothing. We don't know anything yet for sure. Other part that the gameplay, the world reveal trailer, which I will like I said, I'll definitely tune into that. You know, when I get the chance to, because like I said, the graphics okay. look so clean. Oh my well, god. Some, I think I've gotten some, I don't know if this is like a confirm confirm, but there's, I guess Google searched it because it was driving me nuts all day, like, is this really continuation? This person seems to think that though the name Gotham Knights and the setting might suggest otherwise, the game's not actually set in the Arkham verse, or the Arkham mm -hmm. series verse. Um, it might be just like a typical trailer. RPG game. You never know. Right. Yeah, so that's another thing we've got to mention here. It may not be that at all whatsoever. It could be like, you know, well, I wouldn't say like a new story, but I feel like at times I feel like it could be like something completely different, something completely, you know, like kind of similar, but it has like, you know, maybe like a different path, maybe like an alternate Arkham universe or like way before the events of Arkham. I mean, I don't know. What do I know about story? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, maybe a little bit. I may know a little bit on it, but uh at this point, it's just it's it's too early to tell anything at this point. But um, well, we know the other game that they announced uh, with uh, that was a superhero, that DC related. Ooh, that I was one just is I am um, just was just about to get to that. So thank God that you had mentioned that. So uh, and this actually looks super cool too, though. So Suicide Squad: Kill the Justice League is an upcoming action action adventure game developed and co just definitely confirmed. Developed by Rocksteady Studios and published by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, and is set to be released in 2022 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox Series X. Set in the continuity as the Batman Arkham series, this game revolves around, you know, anti hero teams attempt to defeat Brainiac, facing a mind controlled Justice League in the process. Now, this, this kind of like, you know, this obviously like the lore with if you have you ever played uh, Injustice two? Uh, no, but I've watched people play it before. I just never. Do, uh, now this kind this good. this theory kind of popped in my head though. Does it actually like take place in the same universe as this with Superman being evil right at the well? Then again, this is this is Rocksteady we're talking about here, so the no. it could be talking well, about like something completely different. Well, the so, storyline's a little bit different, too, because it's like they, they're kind of tapping into the multiverse in that one. Mm -hmm. but, all, but also they're... Uh, it does have Easter eggs, in. though, with Superman yeah. being evil. Like, especially if you played Injustice 2. Like, yeah, because you... the, the, the storyline of Joker actually uh, tricking him into killing Lois Lane and their baby. Mm -hmm. um, that's what basically set him off. That was ultimately what Joker always wants in his... You know, the way he is. That's how he is. He's, he's All right. always one to turn good guys bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the game features four playable characters, which include Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, and King Shark. While it can be played solo, the game also features a four-player cooperative multiplayer mode. And when played solo, players can switch be between characters at will while the other characters are controlled by artificial intelligence. So you could, this is confirmed that you can play multiplayer with this online. So... This, I saw the uh, trailer for this, and ooh, man. Let's just say, it actually, I think the video game actually looks a lot better than the movie itself. But that's just me. That's just my personal opinion on it. Yeah. But, a, lot of, a lot of Batman Suicide Squad stuff coming this weekend. Like, yeah, lots but, of it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this was, this was the week of the Batman, man. I'm telling you, like, he's trying oh. to get his name out there. If anything Batman related will probably be like, you know, it's a moneymaker for sure. And we'll actually get to the next part of that here in a little bit. But um, if, if there are two people that are very happy about that this weekend, it's myself and Lee Ross. <laughs> We're two Batman nuts. Oh, my God. You are trying so hard to get him to play with you. I've noticed that on Twitter and you are trying your ass off. Too. <laughs> You're oh, that yeah. dedicated. It would be fun, man. Well, he did mention before in like our DMs before when we were talking about IW zombie stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, thought process regarding IW Zombies just randomly. It started with uh, <laughs> Dame in that game, and then I like I DM'd him um, at one point. And it's like, hey, how about some juicy info for me, Lee? And he and he literally responded within five minutes, saying like, all right, man, all right, hit me with what question you have. I was like, Ooh. oh my god, okay. 
He's dedicated. So. He's he's like he's like another uh, YouTuber I know who actually does reply to like big YouTuber does reply to stuff right away. But that's uh, that's completely yeah. different. But uh, yeah, going back to Suicide Squad, how would you rate the trailer out of ten? With ten being the best, like I'm I'm kind of curious to know. Uh, you talking about the game or the actual like trailer trailer for the movie? The trailer, tra no, 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 no. I'm talking yeah, the game, like the suicide, you know. The um, underwhelming, honestly. I mean, it's pretty mm. underwhelming for me. The CGI, well, it's CGI. It's not the actual gameplay, but the only part I really popped with that was when you had a like a completely brainwashed evil Superman just completely incinerate a guy. That that kid kind of came out of nowhere. Saved. Yeah, that yeah, that just kind of came like, out of nowhere too. Oh look, Superman saved a guy and he just incinerates him. <laughs> and then, <laughs> like, and, what then the uh, freak? and then Harley Quinn was like, "What what did she say?" That was actually kind of like it kind of made me chuckle a little bit. Like, yeah, nobody wants you here, spandex or whatever. The, it's whatever whatever she called him. I think it was something mm -hmm. like that though. But uh, yeah. and then when he incinerates, it, everybody just like you know had like a change of look. I was just like, "What the like, hell uh -oh. did he just do?" <laughs> almost like the you remember that Saturday Night Live gig uh, oops I crapped my pants <laughs> yeah pretty much they look like <laughs> yeah pretty much but uh I mean yeah. to be honest at least for me like I would rate the trailer I, I would say 7.9 maybe 8 out of 10 like I know it was kind of I know it seems kind of high but uh I so, love I love anything like DC stuff I mean I'm, I'm a Marvel person too like you know I like Marvel stuff also and DC I can I kind of get like a suckered into those kind of video games but um at the same time, like, it, there's just, like, something about it was just, like, didn't really kick. Like, everybody, I mean, I had a feeling like Superman was going to do something to the guy he, like, supposedly he saved. And everybody was complaining about this on the internet, too. Which was like, oh my god, like, why is Superman evil again? This is so unoriginal. Do something new for them. Like, you know, have them, you know, save the universe from, like, I don't know, such and stuff. Like, a some sort of a... I don't know what what do you what do you do now to save the world like name me dark something side. yeah darks yeah something like that and it said they got Brainiac back again <laughs> that's just like I thought when I when I saw that with Brainiac and the actual like the same kind of like creation they made I thought that was just like a like, continuation from Injustice to be honest instead of being the that's Arkham's basically series. what I thought too I was I was about to say like does this actually tie on to Injustice I was like no it can't because like no. obviously like. They have like a, another universe where Harley Quinn actually is good and actually saves people, like when she's free from the Joker. And that's just like one of those situations where you think like they ties to the story, but it really doesn't. You know? Yeah. I don't know. That's just like you know, I'm just like you know double. I'm like over, not really overthinking it, but I'm having like second thoughts like on the story. I mean, it's too early. Like I said, like with the. Um, like with Gotham Knights, like I said, it's it's too early to tell like what the story is going to be about. Like I said, you know, like mm -hmm. lowest I would give it is seven point nine. Like I said, it, it was like the it was predictable for me, and that's why I give it that you know that rating. And I'm not saying like it was bad or anything. I mean, like I said, underwhelming is the right word to use though. It Here's was like underwhelming, you, though. Uh, underwhelming and predictable. That's Here's just my problem. I I told uh. Told our fellow streamer friend Dub about this, and he mm -hmm. like blew his mind. The theory <laughs> is, is that it, like it literally blew his mind. He's like, "No freaking way! That's a good thought, there, Matt." I'm like, "Well, this is what I thought of." As immediately when I thought of Suicide Squad being related to the Arkham series, mm -hmm. the first thing that popped in my head was the Arkham Origins. After you beat the game, there's this cutscene with Amanda Waller, and she visits mm -hmm. Deadshot, mm -hmm. and tries and is immediately tries to recruit him for um for the Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if like, that must be a continuation of that particular story arc that they did with uh, Amanda Waller and Deadshot. Like like that... an actual thing, like before, you know, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, like an actual theory on that. Well, kind that of story. More like she's, like, it started with, with Deadshot when they were recruiting people for the Suicide Squad and kind of continued Oh, okay, the... okay. So, yeah, yeah. So, the, so that didn't really, ex you know, Harley Quinn didn't meet up with, you know, the Suicide Squad even during that story. I mean... I mean, I can. I, that kind of makes sense. Like, as, it's as it's, it's not bad, but are, I can. Are trans it's a possibility. Yeah, like as the events of Arkham um, are taking place, Amanda Waller's keeping a close eye on each of the supervillains, going, "Hmm, mm -hmm. maybe this one will be good for our our squad." Mm hmm. So that's a theory on that one, but that that kind of it kind of tied in too because Deadshot is one of the the squad members. 
<laughs> yeah, when I when you were saying with dubbed, uh, talk, you were ta telling him about that. He just overreacted so fast. He's like, "Oh my god, that's a good theory, man!" I'm, and I'm just <laughs> over here, kind of like you know, thinking like, "Yep." Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's it's a possibility, you know. I can <laughs> definitely see it happening, but I, I, I don't know. I was just like, thinking, with, with just that reaction, like, <laughs> that reaction he had. I'm like, well, it wasn't that mind blowing, but I mean, I was just yeah. That's what back. I said. It wasn't. It was just, yeah. To me, it wasn't really mind blowing, but it's. I mean, I can see what you're trying to say, though. Like, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be. It wouldn't be surprising to me if that happened. But, but then again, maybe it might just like a little bit, but. At this point, you know, it's 2020, like, if they reveal more about this, it's just like, I, I would, you know, I would buy anything at this point. Like, let's just say, like, if, uh, somebody would tell me, like, if, uh, Reggie from Nintendo was running for president of the United States, I'd probably believe it. <laughs> but, uh, that's just me, yeah. though. <laughs> I would believe anything at this point, it is 2020. But, uh... Anyways, moving on here, we got more um, we got more DC stuff off the wazoo. This is not video game related, but they did drop the new Batman trailer with Robert Pattinson. And when I saw this trailer on IGN, and there was actually another trailer that I saw on IGN, though, but we're not really going to talk too much about that. But um, when I saw this trailer with uh, the Batman, I thought this actually looked amazing. Like... There was a certain point where he was beating the holy hell of one of the... I don't know who it was. I think it might have been one of the Joker's bad guys. I'm not sure exactly. But just a random thug, probably. Just a random thug. He just started just like, you know... It's like one of those Mortal Kombat brutalities, if you've seen him. It's just like with a rap, rapid fire punch. It's just boom, 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 boom. I'm just like, holy shit, this is insane. And... I, I don't know. I mean, everybody was like ripping on this guy for trying to be the, you know, the new Batman. And I wasn't really like, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't say I wasn't trying to get my expectations up. Maybe he might do something with it. You know, you never know. People can he could actually surprise people. And I can just say this right now. He did. The trailer actually looks amazing, like super dark. Like this is what it would be like, you know, the Batman universe. I, it looks a lot more darker, like set in tone than of course, uh, Batman Begins, you know, the Dark Knight trilogy and all that. Dark Knight trilogy is probably, like, my favorite series of Batman mm -hmm. movies so far. But this actually does look, you know, insane. I wouldn't... I mean, it's too early to, like, rate this at this point, but uh, it's probably one of the best Batman uh, trailers I've seen in a while. Like, 100%. Especially with that dark of a tone for the for the movie-wise. True. At least to me. What do you What do you think, man? What do you think? Well, I, I can already tell right now, this is year, set in year uh, two of him, so he's already basically been revealed as the Batman. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why I was like... And it, and it was confirmed police. a long time ago, too. So, yeah, obviously, he, he's he got... He does have the voice, though. He honestly does. I, I kind of like how instead of saying, I'm Batman, when he's beating the tar out of the thub, he just says, I'm Vengeance. Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's actually true. That's good, because that, that's kind of a callback to him saying, I am Vengeance, I am the Knight. Mm -hmm. Where he first says that he's Batman. Mm -hmm. So, um, good job on that one. But the I do like, and, and one of the big things that stood out to me is the fact that the Riddler is uh, um, not this goofy, freaking stupid ass who just does, who just tells uh, little Jim Carrey. Puns, shout out to him. <laughs> saying puns here and there. He actually legit like wants to just complete. Actually, this the psychosis of him is uh, more extreme in this version of the movie, which is actually insane. Mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. GG's on. On uh, hitting that on the on the head here. We never, yeah, I was gonna say we never really had like a uh, a true Riddler villain in the yeah, entire he's Batman like a, series. He's almost like a sloppy second villain, honestly. Yeah, but, but this I, time you get, he, he's the main one this time though too, and it's it's fitting how they wrote it, and I do like the storyline they put for that, mm -hmm. where they uh, they make it to where he's like, okay, the cops are corrupt, um, mm -hmm. they don't trust Batman. Yeah, and it was so like that in the this, Dark Knight series, too. Like, especially right at the beginning. All this stuff is happening, and people are starting to question, well, who the heck is this random idiot dressed up like a bat? And Riddler's doing all these crazy things to make people question, is this guy really worth a, worth a, you know, worth a look, so to speak, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. And doing all these psychotic things to get his attention, and that's uh, that kind of builds up his character, so to speak, uh, to become the Batman it's it's a lot of a lot of great uh, 
a lot of great things that could that could come of this, honestly. So but, the uh, the movie is expected to release on October first of next year. So they're kind of just you know put some finishing touches on it, and then they'll probably actually release like a full on movie trailer instead of just like you know a teaser you know trailer like they showed you know Saturday, and. I wouldn't be surprised if they did release this by October of next year. I feel like that does seem fitting, honestly. I think it's so there because they're, they're going with the theme of one of the comic books that was set in the. Um, it was I can't remember the name of it. Penguin could could help me out here. Um, I we really wish she was here to tell me what the title of that one was. Yeah, the one the one day but... we actually talked about like DC and Batman and all that and uh, some Marvel stuff. <laughs> he's he's working night shift, so what a bad time for him to miss this. Honestly, <laughs> I feel yeah. bad, but. Like I said, just keep keep going, man. Um, but it's it's actually a, like I can't, I can't remember the damn name of it right now. I have to look it up, but I think it's like One Dark Night or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's based off a of like a really awful Halloween night um, that happened for Batman. That, that's kind of the theme song, the, the theme song, the theme they were kind of going with too with Arkham Origins. Yeah. It's set on Halloween and all this crap is just transpiring with him. I, um, actually, I thought I thought Arkham Origins was around Christmas and then Arkham Knight was based around Halloween. Yeah. Or am I, or am I getting that mixed up? I'm thinking it's yeah. I think no, it's no, no, no. Christmas, okay, no. Christmas oh, time, yeah, no. Okay, I'm. I okay. Now I had to think about. It. I am right though. So I remember a cutscene for that saying. Yeah. Like from the Joker the saying, that... "It's oh, it's not even Christmas yet, and I'm opening up True. the presents." And he blows up like skyscraper. Okay, so I kind of okay. That does kind of sound familiar though. So yeah, I am right. Yeah. Arkham Origins Christmas. Arkham Knight is on like Halloween, because obviously Scarecrow's the uh, main mm -hmm. antagonist. But yeah, seems fitting. But yeah, I I give the trailer a nine, like nine out of ten, hundred percent for sure. And then I might rate it higher because I know there's you know, some little uh, info that we know apart from the Riddler being supposedly the main antagonist for the movie, being more dark and sinister, while using like you know the green question marks to leave riddles for Batman. And like I said, you know, are we gonna see other villains? Maybe. I mean, who knows? Like I said, only well, time can tell in there. Yeah, Catwoman is in there. And everybody was, like, having a really bad conspiracy. Well, not conspiracy, but um, it was... Uh, this kind of, like, drew, drove the internet by storm a little bit. Jim uh, uh, Jim Gordon, his actor is, you know, an African-American, which kind of, like, you know, messed, like, messed with people's minds a little bit. Like, not to, like, you know, try to make a racial term or anything, but it just, like, people just questioned it. And me personally, I didn't, I didn't mind it whatsoever. I think it was a nice little change of pace, but I don't know. It just drove the internet by storm a little bit. I mean, the actor that they chose too is actually—he's a damn good actor. I really enjoyed he him he in the he Hunger is. Games. Yeah, I mean, I well, really I haven't seen Hunger Games. I haven't seen Hunger Games, but he does seem like he'd be a good fitting That's role. That's on your backlog. Backlog of movies to watch. <laughs> I, I highly doubt that. Like, I don't, I don't know if that's even gonna happen or not. Why do you do this to me, Kyle? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just he just he seems fitting though, regardless of his skin color or not. I just feel like he's, like, yeah, he was. Uh, he's definitely had that role. Like, um, who was who was the actor who played Jim Gordon in Dark Knight series? Um, I, I was, forgot. I can't I can't remember his name. Right? He was he's actually from London. The, okay, I can look up. I can actually look it up. I, I mean, I know the character. I can envision him in my mind, but I can't think of his name, so I'll, I'll look it up here right now. So, um, yeah, it'll, it'll pop up here. And, uh, yeah, Gary Oldman. That's who it was. There you go, yeah. Yeah, Gary Oldman was actually amazing as Jim Gordon. But I, I feel like he could, like, you know, uh, he could probably do the same thing, too, like fulfill his shoes also. Yeah, and not to mention the fact that he's... He, the portrayal of Jim Gordon that one is that okay yeah Batman is a good guy but then he's looking at the look on his face is kind of like wait a minute mm -hmm. it, it's more like doubt more so than confidence in Batman mm -hmm. he has that look of doubt like wait a minute do you know this guy because he's addressing you personally like who the hell is this guy <laughs> um, I almost mean... like there's some doubt in Jim's mind and you'd actually see in some part of the cutscene of the trailer is that um, Batman get into a fight with uh, some of the corrupt cops inside of the GCPD oh um, yeah Nice change of pace. Yeah, they were uh, talking about, you know, corrupt police, you know, especially with, uh, like, with Gotham Knights, you know, the police are corrupted in Gotham, and vigilantes have to come in just to save the day, you know? Makes me wonder if, if, if like, he's kind of a, not really a, a kinder, gentler Batman at first. 
like he's he's tough, but then as the Riddler is pretty much mind cra- mind effing with his mo- with him during the entire process, mm-hmm. and he starts to develop more of a badassery of a backbone and just starts laying into villains because he's not getting the results that he thinks he should be getting. Mm-hmm. Almost like frustration setting in that this this guy has outsmarted him. Oh yeah, um, sure. And we all know that Batman and all the comic books is that he always that's the biggest frustration he leaves with Riddler is that he always can solve his riddles like it's child's play, basically. Mm-hmm. Which just yeah, like drives the, him nuts. Like the easiest riddles in the world and well actually well a well, little bit off topic, like even when I was grinding Arkham City and Arkham Knight, you know, going for Riddler trophies and all that. Some of them were actually easy, and then there was a few that were actually pretty challenging to do in the game. I'm not going to lie, but uh, just to, like, figure out, like, you got to go, like, you know, especially, like, with the Switch puzzle that you had to do in Arkham City, where you got to, uh, yeah. there's, like, three green question marks, and you're, like, going to the bottom of the uh, the water, not the bottom, like, you have to make, like, a, like, an ice, like, an ice path, like, a, like, with the freeze blast. You go down there, and then you use the, um, the explosive gel. You put um, the um, what you would call explosive gel on the uh, green question marks at the same time, like you know one, two, and then three, and then you fly back up, hit the switch, and now the gates close, and then you gotta detonate the switch. Also, that was that's pretty complicated. <laughs> that you gotta yeah. do that. I mean, it's not really complicated; it was just tedious to do. But the fitting of a Riddler. Yeah, it's just Honestly, it's fitting yeah. about Riddler though, because they're supposed to make him like a comedy act, but at the same time, it's just like. Uh, yeah, I want to, like, especially with him, though, I want him to be, like, more darker, like, as more of a villain than more of, like, you know, just like, oh, hey, look at me, I can leave green question marks around. Like, I want, like, to have him, like, more than, do, than to do just that, you know what I mean? Yeah, very, very true. But it's nice to have a, a nice change of pace with the Riddler, too. Mm-hmm. Nice change of pace with him, that he's much more darker than usual. Yeah, um, less exactly. Less of a joke and more of a, just like, wow, this guy, take him seriously, this guy is crazy. I mean, you feel. Um, I mean, you feel like he would have been. Well, the, well, then again, if he was actually one of the main like antagonists in like uh, the Arkham series, that would be probably be a pain, <laughs> just to like collect like all of his <laughs> riddles, just to, and, like just like you know, like three hundred fifty or two hundred or four hundred something out of like four hundred or something, mm-hmm. and then just to, that's how you beat the game. That would be so tedious and insane. I I would probably. Th- have done your reaction you didn't cup hit or i mean like throw my controller like are you serious yeah have, that's that's how many riddles to solve to beat this game i mean i would Low? i mean i would i would look up a walkthrough for it it wouldn't be a problem to me honestly but um at the same time it would be very tedious and annoying. i but, always laughed about when riddler when you solve a riddle on him he's always like you're cheating and it's like <laughs> no i'm not like you're cheating i am not cheating <laughs> <laughs> bill you always cheat i want i wanted to i wanted to get monica Cheat on Hillary. Okay, no, Bill, get out of here with that. But um, anyways, enough uh D- DC stuff. Enough Batman. We got some, we got some more stuff to talk about here. So uh, we were talking about Fall Guys earlier. Mm-hmm. So Fall Guys season two is on the horizon, and we'll get our first look at it next week. And it's the world premiere sneak peek of Fall Guys season two. Will appear at Gamescom's opening night live on august 27th at 11 p 11 a.m e- um not 11 a.m eastern 11 a.m pacific time 2 p.m eastern time and jeff Keeley was the one that announced this the one that hosts like every single game event there is on the planet and basically it's gonna be uh season two and if you haven't unlocked all 40 of the fall guys skins emotes patterns and other cosmetic rewards that are available in season one regular players like i said they're ready for more and uh when does it begin, obviously? So, at least nobody knows at this point when that obviously begins. So, um, we're kind of looking at near October is when Season 2 will likely be- begin for Fall Guys. But that was just dropped. Like, I believe it was, like, on, like, on Saturday, I think. And Saturday was a lot of games. Like, a lot of stuff dropped on Saturday. That was big. It was honestly big. But uh, official start date has not been announced yet. So, we're still kind of on the lookout that for that, but like I said, I feel like they're probably going to um, start it, like announce it, like somewhere. I would say probably like right around October. Like I said, there's no start date for that, but I'm almost to level 40. I'm at level 33 currently on Fall Guys, so I am getting there. I'll probably hit like level 40 easily right before the next season starts, and I'll have like certain everything. But yeah, what do you think, man? Are you gonna tune in for this? 
Um, if it's not during a work meeting, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even then, I might sneak my headphones in there and just listen to the announcement. They're like, "Maddie, listening?" Yep, hundred percent. What did I say? Oh, sorry, my I had something in my ear. What was that? I was like, "Oh wait, no, what was that again? What did I Ma! say? Ma! I said, I said Shut I will." <laughs> so I'm, I'm envisioning your work, fall, guys. Like. What was that? So what did I just say, Matt? Um, I believe that you said that... Uh, Fall Guys is coming out October this. Yeah, that is what and you she's said. like, exactly what I was saying. That's thank exactly. You. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I can imagine. It's change of pace. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. Like, I could definitely see that also. So, um, yeah, I'm at eight wins. Matt's at, well, eight or nine. Matt's at five to six. But we've already explained this at the beginning. So there was really had... Not much to talk about, you know, other than that, apart from the fact that uh, if not only for that, uh, they're not sure if Season 2 will bring new levels and minigames to Fall Guys in addition to the list of cosmetic rewards through players to progress, though. And hopefully the sneak peek at Gamescom next week will answer all of our questions. So hopefully we might see new minigames. We might see new cosmetics. You know, we might see, you know, a certain theme cosmetics. That would actually be pretty cool if there was. But who knows at this point? We'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely excited to tune in for that. And I believe the day after that, if I may real quick, if I move on to the next um, thing as soon as uh, this tab opens up. So uh, after all the Easter egg solvings and everything in between, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War will have a world reveal trailer dropping this Friday. So this Friday, so after the Fall Guys, Call of Duty, the uh, Black Ops Cold War, will be, you know, dropping on Friday. So the release date will be sometime in 2020, as per usual Call of Duty title announcement. So they have, and like I said, they've yet to announce the specific uh, release date, but it's confirmed that it will be out this year. And the Call of Duty release date should be Maybe mid-October as both Black Ops 4 and Call of Duty Warfare, Modern Warfare landed on store shelves around then in each of their re 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 respective launch years. And either way, it won't be long until we get to play this thing for ourselves. So get the pre-ordering savings at the ready and be sure if you pre-order it now. Well, not now, but like once the Rover Mule trailer is, you know, if you pre-order the game, you'll obviously get some access to the beta. So, um, Matt, are you excited? You excited? Yeah. So, uh, what's going on with that? Um, I mean, the this is kind of like giving a little shout back. This is kind of like a, um, I'm trying to think of the damn word here. It's just kind of like it's echoing what happened with Black Ops One, honestly, with the way mm -hmm. they kind of revealed it. Um, and it's very refreshing to see that. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, yeah. but. Yeah, you, you're just like just, just, like shock and awe right now, but you just you just want to see the reveal trailer like hundred percent for sure. I'm just having <laughs> low expectations this rate, honestly. It's like the Easter egg thing in in Warzone's nice, but I just I don't know. I have a bad feeling that, about this. Like it's just gonna be an underwhelming thing. And like Penguin was mentioning, they're probably be like, oh, all these Easter eggs. Oh, by the way, there's no zombies. And we like, mm -hmm. f you, we're out of here. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, you suck. <laughs> you suck so hard right now. Like, so. like, do you think the story is gonna be, I would say, similar to the old Black Ops games, or is it gonna have like a brand new story with certain characters, like, or is it gonna have an origin story like it did with Modern Warfare? Like, what's what's what do you think? Honestly, what they should do is they should just continue the chaos, the chaos story, with, uh, and just go with that. Because if they try to enter something new again, it's just gonna no. Just I'm talking about like with people. the campaign though, the actual actual campaign, if there is one. Oh, I don't even care about the campaign, honestly. <laughs> they could just skip the campaign for all I know. So they probably you, won't, but. So you you think you think they're just not gonna be like that, honestly? <laughs> gonna more than like, I mean, the best case scenario would be a campaign, a war zone like thing where it's battle royale, and a zombies mode. Uh, all I right. feel like multiplayer has kind of died out, honestly. All right, so actually this is, yeah, Penguinator actually asked this just for the show here. So uh, if COD Cold uh, Black Ops Cold World doesn't have Zombies mode, will you buy it? And if it does have the Zombies mode, w would you have a continuation of the Chaos story or have a different storyline? A lot of questions are all in there, Penguin. I don't know, man. <laughs> a lot of questions. 
Like, do you, would you? Those. I mean, to be honest, I would love to see like a continuation of uh, the Chaos story, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me at this point if they did switch it up. But if it, if I did, if they did switch it up, though, everybody would be like mad though, because they already ended the Ether story. Like, it was confirmed. It's already ended. So the only option I could see, you know, at Treyarch Zombies or whoever's running it, you know, uh, Craig Houston, aka the person that. Uh, we don't really talk about a lot. It's more Blondell and Lee Ross out of all people. But if I was at Treyarch Zombies, like if I was like, you know, one of the devs over there, I would definitely 100% like continue the story because they left us kind of like on a uh, cliffhanger, you know, especially after Ancient Evil. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. So, yeah, to answer Penguin's question, I would definitely have a continuation of the chaos story. But if it doesn't then I probably may not get it, honestly. Maybe I might. I don't know, because I, I love the uh, Treyarch multiplayer, well, except for, like, you know, Black Ops 4, which kind of had some break like game-breaking stuff. I mean, I was all right at it, but I like I wasn't, like, huge, huge onto it. I like BO3 multiplayer a lot more. That's just, you know, going without saying. But, um, yeah, what do you think, man? Yeah, it... Hey, are you talking about the zombies here? Is that... Alright, I'm just... Mentally, I'm, like, checking out. I don't know what's going on with my brain right now. Oh, yeah. like a blonde. <laughs> um, no, I, I think with the, the zombie storyline, they really should just stick to the chaos, stick to something that ended on a good note. People were crapping all over it when it first started, but then as they got towards the last few maps, they're like, oh, this is actually pretty fun. This is actually really good. Um... I think mm -hmm. if they just stick with chaos and don't try to interest another zombies mode, people will actually they'll probably be a nice refreshing mode for people to get because we've invested in Charlotte and the, and the entire uh, chaos crew, mm -hmm. and so we bought in. So why? You oh know, yeah, why, uh, yeah, hey, definitely, uh, definitely. I guess. Hold on, I got. Hold on. <laughs> He's got so many I'm, things like I'm, running in through his head at the no, same time. No, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna play Fall Guys, but I played Fall Guys for a little bit, but then apparently the, the next the last update basically effed with the server, so those were on like lagging the hell out of control, like it's uh, literally so, glitching out. So yeah, uh, well, no, well, I guess it wasn't really my internet then. I guess it was just like really, bad, uh, honestly. Thank, I, good job, Fall Guys devs. Way to screw over the console people again. <laughs> um, and they didn't anyways. really fix, they didn't really fix the tail grabbing part, but that's that's besides the point. But uh, anyway, I mean, they can't they can't even fix it, fix the lag issue. Then, I mean, come on now. Come on. But anyway, but anyways, so yeah, like with the with the with chaos the chaos story, they 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 really did a good job with the back end of it. Mm -hmm. um, look, a nice cliffhanger. Um, and to kind of just leave it there would be kind of it would kind of suck. I mean, I hate the fact that they did the same thing with IW zombies when they left us with a cliffhanger, and unfortunately Lee left, so they they just left it the way it was. The cliffhanger. I was kind of, well, I wasn't really annoyed that, well, I mean, I kind of was and I kind of wasn't annoyed that they took out the, um, I would say the actual real cutscenes, but people complained about them, like, being too long. Like, the ending cutscenes. And I think they were fine, like, the way they were. Instead of just, like, the old comic book strip, like they did with, like, the rest of the Ether story, you know? Mm -hmm. But yeah, They really do invest more in those cutscenes <laughs> instead of putting comic, comic book strips in there. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit, honestly. <laughs> like somewhere, somewhere in that. Like, I mean, they they were fine with the actual like real cutscenes, like they did with Chaos. But I don't know. I mean, I think regardless of like I said, we know the title is going to be Black Ops Cold War. It's just every single player, like I mean, if you're a big da big name like Noah J, Miss Dialect, uh, Raffle Waffles, uh, Glitching Queen, even Ninja Nation Gaming, you're going to be on the zombie stream no matter what. And for us, we're just kind of thinking like, no, we maybe there's just like this little min minority of the group that we're in that just kind of wants the chaos story to continue. <laughs> we're kind of a little bit biased on that, but um, oh, I don't know. I hope it continues, but if not, then I may like consider just continue working on my backlog. Honestly, that's just my you know perspective on it. Yeah, if they don't, if they don't. I'm right there with Penguin. They don't have the that particular zombie. Um, oh, because it's either yeah. it's either campaign, battle royale, or multiplayer. That's what's new and what's in. Apparently, with all the kids, you know. For me, for me, it's just yeah. I'll I'll probably stick to um, the zombies mode. If it's not zombies, there, then, he'll he'll then stick be... with uh, Friday the Thirteenth. 
You'll stick with Fall Guys. Huh. I've been actually not going into that lately. Like, the F-13's been kind of, like, on my way backlog. Like, way back backlog. Yeah, and, like, you put it on the shelf sort of backlog. <laughs> mm -hmm. Almost like, almost like, yeah, I kind of disowned you and just got this, uh... I mean, <laughs> sort of it's like, it's like back, a... Though. It's like, I, I don't want to really put this in terms like this, but, um... Uh, well, should I? Should I say it? Up to you, man. I don't even know where you go. <laughs> it's like it's like a very complicated relationship. You love it, but you also hate it. I'll just put it in like that, those sort of terms. Like yeah, I, I kept it, that. I kept it light as possible. I'm not gonna say what I originally was gonna say, so I'm just gonna let that you know get buried six feet under. <laughs> but Rest yeah, I peace. mean. I mean, like it's—I mean, little but until unless Jason rises from the grave, like he did in Friday the Thirteenth, you know, Part Six, where he just like gets struck by lightning. Now he's just this immortal, unstoppable entity, you know. Makes That's sense. just yeah, just somewhere around there. But that um, makes perfect sense. Oh, I guess <laughs> it does. It makes definitely makes perfect sense. But um, anyway, so yeah, Black Ops Cold War. So reveal trailer Friday. Definitely go check that out for sure. So, uh, uh, Nintendo Direct stuff in the news. Well, when we had an original uh, date being confirmed, for, they said it was going to be September 4th, uh, 2020, but rumor about another Nintendo Direct, you know, in August 2020 could be j just days away, and the leaks that they have emerged in the run-up in the rumored straight uh, stream date that could hint the lengthy wait will totally be worth it basically so it's supposed to be rumored to be happening in a few days time with an august 2020 stream that looks like it's fast approaching the last time the house of mario held a full fat nintendo direct that was almost a year ago in september 2019 so it's been almost a year since we had a direct which is insane since then we've had each other's streams such as direct mini broadcasts in march and july but none have been all as encompassing as a proper nintendo direct like live stream but the leaks are hinting at the next Nintendo Direct could be happening very soon with a stream rumor to be taking place on Friday, August 28th. So same day as the Modern Warfare, well not Modern Warfare, Black Ops Cold War trailer and then the day after Fall Guys. So this is going to be a big week for sure. And the leaks have emerged in the run up to be this rumored stream date to, to hint the long way for the next Nintendo Direct will totally be worth it. And they we don't know what it's going to be. So they uh, basically, if you guys haven't heard already... They uh, have maintenance for the eShop, and I don't know what that could mean exactly. And with knowing Nintendo, it does have a lot of meanings to it, you know. And everybody is expect speculating the 35th uh, Mario Anniversary Direct, or, you know, as a proper Nintendo Direct. And uh, the whole meme on the uh, internet is saying, one, one of these days we're going to have a Nintendo Direct. And so one day people are going to be right. So, I mean, I'm not counting my chickens. I'm kind of, you know, if it happens, it happens. Awesome. I'll definitely check that out. If it doesn't happen, you know, that's okay. I'm like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a patient person on it. But anyway, so like the last thing like, like Nintendo, re blah, Nintendo related that I think, you know, came up was uh, Pikmin 3, which was on the Wii U and they, uh, they basically brought it to the uh, Nintendo Switch, and we don't. I is it out already? I don't know if it, uh, Pikmin Three is out for the Switch, but that was announced. So rumored, rumored, so that uh, Metroid Prime Four could be in the next Nintendo Direct, and Breath of the Wild Two has like options also. Well, then again, it's more. I mean, who knows at this point? I mean, this is. This is all rumors and hearsay and all these crazy conspiracy theories. And what do you think about all this? What do you think about these I mean, crazy Nintendo stuff? Well, the, I think the, a big one that needs to be mentioned in that direct as well is will they will they tease the next DLC for? Uh, they'll have a they'll Monster have a separate Shield? they'll they'll have a separate direct for that. I'm pretty sure they will like a mm. little teaser sort of thing, like a trailer, like a Pokemon direct. Like if they wanted to do like they have their own directs they can do. So I'm pretty sure they'll have that happen also. But Mario and Zelda are like the uh, top two um, like big dogs in the Nintendo business. And Mario's obviously number one. Obviously, he's the face that base. In the words of AJ Styles, he's the face that runs the place. <laughs> 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 if you want to put that in the terms of perspective, that's definitely a good way to do that. But um, yeah, I mean, as those are just like the big big names like outside of Pokemon. But and then like I said, they'll definitely do a. Um, 
like a se separate like you know video direct on what they're gonna like tease for the release date of Pokemon Sword and Shield like somewhere around there. But mm -hmm. like I said, they'll they'll definitely do that. It's just I don't think it'll be like a, maybe it might be in a like that sort of like you never know because Nintendo can throw curveballs nowadays. They can definitely hundred percent throw like curveballs, sliders, changeups. Maybe throw like a fastball at you like out of nowhere and drop like a like a direct mini. Like out of nowhere. You never know with them. It's 2020. Like even like I look at Nintendo of uh, America on Twitter. I follow them. I have their notifications on. And I look into the replies, right? Like 90% of the replies on Twitter, and this is basically the internet for you. They just want to know where the hell the direct is at. It doesn't matter what Nintendo Direct uh, Nintendo of America announces. They just, like, people on the internet just, like, spam, just want to know, where the hell is a direct? We want a proper direct, blah, blah, blah. And I feel so bad for the people that work over there, like, up in, uh... Because I know where Nintendo of America is actually located at. It's, it's like, I forget, I know, I, I can name the city, like, I can imagine it in my head, but I forgot the actual name of it. But it's, uh, it's up in Washington, I do know that. So I feel so bad, though, for these people that are actually, uh, like trying to like promote their games you know dlcs of certain games like announcements like you know like even third party games they just want to know where direct's at and sometimes i just feel like sometimes people need to shut up like just let them do their thing you know the direct comes when it comes and if it doesn't come oh well you know that's okay i mean you guys have backlogs you guys got games you can work on you guys got games you got to complete like you know i have games i got to work on matt's got games he's got to work on and at the same time, it's just like, yeah, sometimes I wish the internet didn't exist. <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. But uh, yeah, at this point, we'll, we won't know until like this week, though, for sure. And the last bit of news I want to get into before we uh, at least sign out. So let me pop up. Let me pop up Twitter here real quick, because I don't know why my uh, browser decides to like reset itself. I guess if it's like if I'm not on a... Uh, internet browser for like a certain period of time so um i it would probably like resets itself but uh the new rumor is that a new switch hardware model is to launch early next year according to reports that sites have manufacturing sources and it said it was going to come with improvement quality and interactivity and they're fully expecting this to be a pro upgrade for the current switch similar to the dsi or the new 3ds and there will there will be a noticeable but not too crazy improvement for the cur current model and also possibly no more Joy-Con drift issues. But I mean, if you wanted to uh, have no more uh, Joy-Con drift issues, why don't you get a new pair of Joy-Cons? Like that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> what I do don't you think? think I've never had that issue. That's why I got a Pro controller, so that way I can oh. avoid that. <laughs> oh, Monica locked my Joy-Con. Okay, well, not <laughs> that's... appropriate. Oh man, but uh, I mean, that just it kind of raises some questions about this. Like mm -hmm. if there's going to be like actual a new switch model but at least to me i'm perfectly fine with the switch i have and like i said with the pro controller i can like do everything like i you know you know 10 times better than you know well i mean joy cons are there just like you know show off and everything i i know my joy cons are gray i know i'm unoriginal and overused with that but um it's uh it's one of those situations where it's just like i like my pro controller a lot better and especially and not just that though but the uh, switch hardware i mean I don't mind the battery life I have on there. I don't mind, you know, anything else. But, I mean, if they want to do it, you know, hey, if, they, if it, this happens, you know, more power to them if people want to collect those sort of things. But what I would like to see, though, is, like, you know, uh, Joy-Cons that are, like, from certain Nintendo games. I'm not talking about the ones that are, like, custom-made ones. Like, people have made, like, that are, they sell for, like, you know, hundreds of dollars. I'm talking about ones that are, like, licensed by Nintendo. Have we... I don't think we've seen any of those, honestly. Like... Like Breath of the Wild, for example, I would actually like get a pair of Joy Cons that are like Breath of the Wild related, like licensed by Nintendo. And then uh, Pokemon's another one that was kind of like on the uh, verge. So I would like have to have like a you know a legendary Pokemon sort of like matching Joy Con sort of thing. That would be yeah. like my dream Joy Cons that I would buy. But at the same time, you know it's Nintendo. You never know with them. I mean, they have Splatoon. They got Smash Ultimate, I think. Well, actually, no. I think that's for like Pro Controllers. I might be mistaken on that, but. If I if this was me, like this would be like my dream Joy-Con set I would have. I would have a Breath of the Wild one or I would have a Pokemon related one. Just doesn't matter which one or design, honestly. I just want some good Joy-Cons in my life. But what about you, man? 
Uh, I'm good with the way it is. I'm not picky about the Switch, honestly. I'm not really, yeah, like I said, I'm not really picky about it either. Like, I'm happy I have one, period. So it's just like, you know, yeah. I can do whatever with it. But hey, there's a lot of collectors out there that'll actually, like, you know, pre order stuff, send it in, you know, get get the uh, collectibles over to their place, all that jazz. And they're, they're, they will definitely have, like, you know, they won't even use them. They'll just, like, put them on their shelves as, like, a collector's item. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. I, that, I, I mean, if I was like a collector, I would definitely be capitalizing off that. But, you know, you never know at this point. <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's just like we need to um, just enjoy what we have. And at the end of the day, and if it happens, it happens. You know, it's it's just this is just one of those situations. And like I said, you know, if you're a collector. You want to get ready, you know, more power to you. But. I don't know, me, like I said, but just like you, I'm not really picky about mine, honestly, but I'm just saying if I had, like, some dreams of what I wanted, like, that would be, like, one of the uh, 100% uh, stuff that I would get, like, Breath of the Wild and Pokemon. Like, real quick, what, what would be your dream Joy-Cons be? My dream Joy-Cons? Yeah, just like, uh... if you had, if you had, like, you know, I know you're not picky, but if you had to, like, you know, envision something in your head. As in, like, a customized image on there or something like that? or Just, like uh, just licensed by Nintendo. It's licensed by Nintendo. No customs, no nothing. Like, what would you want Nintendo to make Joy-Cons? Like, what... From a, a franchise, like, is what I'm saying. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't say Pokemon, because I'm not that in, that uh, into Pokemon, but... Mm -hmm. I mean, Mario, would just because just of the nostalgia, that's literally, like, the first game I ever played was Mario. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm surprised that they don't have that, honestly. They sell really well, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Mario, Zelda, even like Metroid, um, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, and Splatoon. Obviously, those would be uh, those would be uh, like some games. I like some franchises. I would definitely you know work on for sure. But um, anyways, yeah. So anything else you want to add to that, or are we gonna call it? Gate skating, bait. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dan, I had to do it. Oh, um, my goodness. No, um... Just, uh... I mean, honestly, I'm really, really excited about the all the Batman stuff coming out and um, Fall Guys, you know, with their Season 2 thing coming out, too. That's mm -hmm. a lot of good games. I mean, even... Like, I had to I had to just shout out... It's going to be a big the, week the this game. week, for sure. 100% big e week. I think the beta for yeah, Avengers went very well. Um, they're kind of definitely go check that out guys. on uh, Matt Man's channel, by the way, if you guys haven't seen right. that. And his trailer too, his trailer for not his trailer, but his uh, uh, his reaction trailer. Yep, definitely go check that out too. YouTube.com/slash the Matman98. Definitely go check that out. A lot of it's a, for this pandemic. I made mean, a daily and a dollar short, but I'm glad it's now in the back end of summer. Mm -hmm. All these amazing games are starting to like flourish here. Like the Avengers, the Avengers come out first week in September. Mm -hmm. So. Um, the beta went really well. A lot of these things were, and this is why I love when they do betas for such a big franchise, is that they get all the kinks out, all the dust, and all the mothballs, so to speak, mm -hmm. out of the game to perfect something that it can be really good. And I, I think it's going to do well. I really do. I, I agree. I 100% agree. The aspect of what, what they're adding to it and how it's it's almost like mimicking. Uh, so basically, if you want a comparison of games, but Avengers is basically the... Um, the Gotham Knights, I guess you'd say, of the Marvel Spider-Man. And Square franchise. Enix had a role in this too, making this. Mm -hmm. So that's be kind of. So it's kind of like has some RPG elements to it. So it'd be kind of cool to oh, yeah. check that out too. Yeah, that, just playing it. Just playing it. I mean, of all my Avengers playing as, I think my favorite one is um, got to be Hulk. Hulk and Thor are right mm -hmm. up there, like the the, the mightiest of the Avengers. I didn't mm -hmm. get to play. I only played a little bit of Captain America. And I am really, really hoping that in the storyline they have that he does come back and that he's not actually dead. Um, that's kind of the You're story. It's not a spoiler. It's 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 not a, it's not a spoiler. It's basically that's the story. Is that mm -hmm. you know that um, someone set up the Avengers to fail uh, trying to save some uh, a day in San Francisco, and Captain America ends up being a victim of that, allegedly. Um, and so that, that leads through to superheroes being banned, like the Avengers being disbanded mm -hmm. uh, because of this tragedy that happened in San Francisco. And people, because of what exploded in the uh, the helicarrier that Captain America died in, um, it's, it evolved people in into basically uh, people with superpowers, with abilities, basically mm -hmm. mutants in a sense. Yeah. So the whole synopsis is... Um, 
aim is coming in trying to heal all these people that have these abilities or by, by force or by choice um, it's, it's it's incredible the storyline looks really good I'm not gonna get too deep into it because that's obviously you guys can enjoy when you play it but it, it looks really really good and I always love a good storyline to a game not just the gameplay itself but the storyline that gets me invested like I'm watching and playing a movie I love that aspect of things Mm -hmm. So I think they they have they got a really really good, um, a good game on. Yeah, their it hands. does it does have potential though. I've really I I definitely see it getting you know solid reviews for it for sure for sure. Yeah. So yeah. yeah so I'm looking forward to that next week for sure. Alrighty, well we'll talk more about that next week definitely when we mm -hmm. get the chance to. But um, on that note, thank you guys so much for joining. The Gaming Kennel. That is our new podcast name, by the way. So if you guys did enjoy it, thank you guys so much. If you guys are watching this on the Twitch side, you know, you know, seven days, it'll be probably be up for like maybe like a week, maybe two. Definitely check it out. But if you're on the YouTube side, you're seeing this on the YouTube side. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those notifications. If you want to see more of these, you'll definitely have more coming your way no matter what. So that being said, go follow Matt, man. Go follow his everything, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Definitely check out his video. And I am your boy, Professor Pug, or Kyle the Pug. You can call me whatever you want. doesn't matter. Kyle the Pug. Yeah, that'll be forever stenched in our memories. So uh, <laughs> that being said, love you guys, and I will check you out next time. Hashtag, oh, excuse me. Hashtag Pug Bark. Bye.